Has 2024 been the year in which films have proved that you don't need a big budget for success? Let's take a look to see which films won at the box office and which films didn't win at the box office. Let's kick this off by talking about the biggest Indian film this year so far which is Kalki 2898 AD and in India it's taken a whopping 599.2 crore and it's on its way on hitting that 600 crore mark. And the visuals in this film are definitely one of a kind in Indian cinema. Even the cast in this film, you have Prabhas, Amitabh Bachchan, Deepika Padukone and Kamal Hassan. And if you've seen this film, let me know in the comments what you thought of it. Now, there's some films that haven't done well at the Indian box office. Starting off with Baramiya Chotamiya, this was an absolute disaster. It had a budget of approximately 350 crore and only took 65.97 crore. That's nothing right in respect to the budget of this film. I mean, personally, I did enjoy this film, but go check out the reviews for this film. Also, this film is available to watch on Netflix. The next film is Lars Salam. Now, this film had a budget of 80 to 90 crore, but only took 17.74 crore. I mean, this film did have Rajnikant in it, but still, that wasn't enough for this film to do well at the Indian box office. And we also have Medan. Now, the budget of this film was 250 crore and it only took 53.54 crore. With Medan, it was an okay film. Why do you think these films haven't done well at the Indian box office? The teams that made this film should take some notes from the next films I'm going to talk about because there's some films that have been able to prove that you don't need a big budget in order for a film to become a blockbuster. Who expected Munjia to take 101.42 crore? Did anyone see this coming? Munjia is meant to be a horror comedy film. In my opinion, it's more of a comedy film than a horror comedy, but it was a decent film. I mean, this film doesn't really have a big star cast, but nevertheless, it's done amazing in the box office. And the budget of this film was only 30 crores, so look how much money they were able to make. The next film is Hanuman. This film is the third biggest Indian film this year. Hanuman's budget was 50 crore and at the Indian box office it took 201.85 crore. Wow, look how much money this film has taken, right? That's four times the amount of the budget. And we have Manjumel Boys. Will this be India's entry to next year's Oscars? This film was a good film. Now, Manjumel Boys' budget was 20 crore and this film took 142.08 crore. Just wow. And Manjumel Boys is available to watch on Hotstar. So what's the rest of the year going to look like at the Indian box office? I mean, you've got films like Telepati Vijay's The Greatest of All Time, Surya's Kangova, Pushpa 2, Rajnikanth's Vatayan, Junior NTR, Devara. The rest of the year is stacked. And what do you think? Do you think there's any films that deserve to take more money than they actually did in the box office? Or films that didn't deserve all the money that they made in the box office? Make sure to... Subscribe for more Indian cinema content.